It's Walk Less Wednesday this week, guys. Who am I? <laughs> it's Walk Less Wednesday this week, guys. And we're doing prawn toast. I'm Jeremy from School of Walk. So, the classic prawn toast, probably not a Chinese or Chinese Chinese invention. For me, it's a sort of a, a mix of cultures, you know, toast or is very British thing. Uh, and then prawn toast really came from sort of British Chinese takeaways. I absolutely love it. I'm doing a rustic or more chunky prawn toast version with a baguette. Uh, and I'm gonna pan fry it just to keep it a little bit healthier. Garlic and spring onion uh, as a main base. And I like to put a little bit of coriander uh, into there as well. The beauty of cooking stuff at home is that really you can make things much better, healthier for you, uh, and pack things full of this, the, the ingredients that really should be in there rather than half prawn, half bread uh, into your filling. So, got my spring onion. A couple of cloves of garlic. If it's a massive clove of garlic, just go for one. Finely chop that. Some coriander. And this is probably classically not in a prawn toast filling, but I find it really freshens the mix up. Don't over chop your coriander, just turn it once and a rough chop over the top. Just set that aside to mix into your prawns once they're chopped. My prawns, these prawns have been peeled and deveined. Also, you don't want them too wet, so you want to sit them on a bit of kitchen towel or blue roll. Dry them out as much as possible before you use them. Because if you've got too much wetness in the mix, it won't necessarily all stick together nicely. Bash your prawns and set them aside. It's a very traditional way of dealing with prawns, mincing them up and only having to wash one bit of equipment. And these sorts of dishes in Chinese takeaways really would have been made up or invented to get rid of leftovers, which I absolutely love. That's the one, the biggest thing about Chinese cooking for me is so the resourcefulness, that sort of cook once, eat twice type of attitude. Never waste anything. Oh, hello. So I've got my nice minced up prawn mix there. And we go straight into the bowl of garlic, spring onion, coriander. I've got a few more prawns left over. If you wanted a little bit more sort of chunkiness in the prawns, then just either roughly chop some prawns in or give it a light bash and you can have a whole prawn in one piece. So just a light bash like that. And you can see that I've got a whole prawn. So either way, I'm just trying to add a bit of texture to my prawn toast. That is pretty much there apart from a little bit of seasoning. A good pinch of salt, but the prawns have that saltiness in them already. And some pepper. Sesame oil. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of egg white to help bind with my corn flour. Corn flour, you don't want this too floury, but this is just to help bind that mix. So a tablespoon of that, and then you want to give that a good mix through. Get all the garlic, spring onion, coriander, and that flavour evenly spread out. Cool, so traditionally, as I say, you'd use a, a bit of white toast, but I quite like a little bit of stale baguette. 
And actually, you need stale bread for this because we're going to pan fry it. It kind of warms it up again. And you, you don't want, if it's too soft, it will soak in too much oil. And in takeaways, prawn toast is always deep fried. But we're going to pan fry this just to keep it a little bit healthier and easier for home. I cut nice chunks of baguette out and then cut those in half. And then from there, all you want to do is just sort of peel the inside of that baguette out. I'm going to try and get it as close to the edge as possible. And what this does, I think, with the baguette is it allows you to just put more prawn filling in, which, I mean, who would say no to that? So, I've got my hollowed out pieces of baguette, and then from here on in, it's nice and easy. You take a good amount of your mix, and because of that egg and corn flour mix, it will just stick very easily. Just press into it to get your mix, your bread filled. And this is important to spread that to the edges of the bread. So when I pan fry it, it fries nicely and all the filling doesn't fall out. That's my one piece ready. So each piece would take a good heaped tablespoon of mix. So my chunky prawn toast or rustic prawn toast is pretty much ready. Just got the sesame seeds to go and then we can pan fry. So I've got a mixture of sesame seeds here. Just dust those over the top. You still want to be able to see some of that prawn. Don't overdo it. Okay, so my prawn toast is ready to pan fry. Now you want to start your frying pan off on a high heat just to bring it to, to temperature. But because the prawn it's so chunky and we've been so generous with that filling, you want to bring that heat down so it doesn't burn. Base the pan with oil, just swirl that oil around a bit, make sure it's well covered. So as I say, high heat to start. I'm going to go prawn side down, to start to sizzle that nicely. Okay, so once you've started it off and it's on a nice sizzle, then just bring the heat down to medium heat so those prawns cook through. As I say, we've got a real heaped tablespoon of prawn mix in each one of these. So it will take at least sort of five, six, seven minutes to cook those prawns through before I then turn the bread and sort of crisp up on the other side and make that nice and golden brown. Uh, if you want to speed the cooking process up a little, you can just cover it with a lid for two or three minutes and that will just sort of collect a little bit more steam and just cook those prawns through quicker. So with that steam, it softened the bread out a little, which I don't mind at all. Now I'm just crisping up the other side and then we can serve it. But those prawns are cooked through nicely and you can see on the sides that sort of freshness just jumping out at you. And that is the difference between a homemade prawn toast and a takeaway one. Right, so after a good sort of seven, eight minutes, my chunky prawn toast is ready. I've crisped up both sides, got that nice fresh prawn mix. I've got some sriracha mayo and some sweet chili sauce here ready to go. And then it's nice and simple, just serve that up. Yum. Takeaway at home. So, let's get into that and you can see this great texture of the prawn and that baguette. Mmm. Now, I thought I'd made a lot, but I know that between Lee and I, this is not going to last very long. Excuse me for talking with my mouth full. Great stuff. Nice bit of saltiness. The coriander really lifts it. And you get a really good bit of chunky prawn inside that baguette. Got a little bit of prawn in my teeth. If you like this recipe and you want to learn more, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.